And today I wanted to introduce you to the enzyme xylanase, which is particularly helpful for anyone with a sensitivity to phenolic compounds or phenols in foods, or for simply maximizing the nutrition we get from these foods. So first of all, phenols are present in all plant foods. And this also includes well-known polyphenolic compounds like quercetin, along with all other bioflavonoids. Salicylate compounds found in food flavorings and colorings are molecularly similar to plant phenols and can induce a similar reaction in those who are sensitive. Phenols are particularly responsible for the smell and taste of foods, and this is why phenolic compounds are found so abundantly in artificial colors and flavors. Phenolic compounds are so ubiquitous in our food supply that complete abstinence or elimination of these compounds is impossible. When phenols can't be processed out, they accumulate in the body, causing a toxic effect. And hyperactivity is a common symptom of this, especially in children. A large culprit behind phenol indigestion is actually inadequate sulfur metabolism. And this is due to defects in a key detoxification pathway and a process known as sulfation, where ordinarily sulfur, the third most abundant mineral in our body, is converted to sulfate, which you can think of as a more active form of sulfur. The primary metabolic enzyme involved in sulfation is called phenol sulfur transferase, or PST, and the PST sulfation pathway is necessary for the breakdown and removal of phenolic compounds like salicylates, artificial food colorings, artificial flavorings, and some preservatives. Again, all foods contain some phenolic compounds, and high phenol foods tend to be brightly colored fruits and vegetables. And these are also the same fruits and vegetables that are noted for their high antioxidant content. So this is, again, why it's impossible to eliminate all phenolic foods. And even if you could, that would mean also losing a primary source of countless antioxidants. Complicating things even more, salicylates in particular suppress the activity of any phenol sulfur transferase enzyme present in the gut. If the sulfation pathway is malfunctioning, the phenolic compounds you are ingesting may not be processed nearly as efficiently. So when these phenolic compounds start accumulating, symptoms of phenol intolerance can include aggression, sleeplessness, headaches, skin conditions, night sweats, and, as I mentioned before, hyperactivity. Many of these symptoms are similar to those experienced by people with a candida overgrowth because both conditions concern the body's elimination of toxins. Impaired sulfate conversion is also a contributing factor to conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and rheumatoid arthritis. For people who are sensitive to phenols, a strong, broad-spectrum digestive enzyme complex can help with properly digesting phenolic foods. So look for an enzyme formula with high amounts of the enzymes cellulase, amylase, hemicellulase, and most especially of all, xylanase. And you can even take this same enzyme formula on an empty stomach for breaking down artificial phenolic compounds like those found in artificial food colorings and flavorings. Certain amino acids like tryptophan, tyrosine, and phenylalanine have phenol structures, so regularly taking a xylanase enzyme can help with utilizing these critical hormone and neurotransmitter building blocks. You may find a phenol digesting specific enzyme complex that's directly intended for phenol intolerance and or an enzyme formula marketed to those on the vegan and vegetarian diet who are invariably consuming large amounts of produce. These particular enzyme formulations usually contain high amounts of the same fiber and carb digesting enzymes. Additionally, the minerals molybdenum and magnesium can both assist with the body's processing of phenolic compounds, although magnesium sulfate, which you know better as Epsom salt, is really the best form of magnesium for this situation because the sulfur it contains is obviously already in its sulfate form. Xylanase, like all enzymes, is not measured in milligrams, but rather units of potency. And for xylanase, those units are appropriately called xylanase units, or XU. So if you're struggling with phenolic indigestion of any kind, look for an enzyme formula with at least 30,000 xylanase units per serving or more if possible, and take it both with meals and also on an empty stomach.
Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.